I beg you, my queen, take leave of this place while you're still able. To where, I might ask? Nigh every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Valmor. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Yet the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate. Though you still can, a soul rider with Elaine at your side. Take him, Joseph. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree capable of weathering the harsh climbs that await. And pray safeguard the ring of the unicorn as well. Hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. My queen, I... Mother? Are they coming for us? Heed well these words, Elaine. I say this not as your mother, but as your queen. From here forth, you're to treat Joseph's command as though it were spoken directly with my tongue. Do you understand? Of course, but is there something amiss? My faith and more lies with you, Joseph. I only pray it is enough. Farewell, and may the heavens guide you. Why are you just standing there, Joseph? Aren't you going to help her? Would that I were able, my prince. Come, we've not a minute to spare. Yes, 
yourself. Do your worst. Does this suit you? Witness the royal blade. Behold my might. I trust you. Enjoy How's this. My magic is yours. I must fight on! Seize her! Enlighten me, Valmor. To what end do you seek to usurp my throne? Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. Zenoira are the rightful sovereigns of Feverith. And I, the blade to restore our world to its natural order. You seek to plunge the continent into war? <laughs> Feverus need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking with insufferable neighbors. Now, I shall achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. I would sooner see you slain by my hand! <laughs> Just begins. We stand now at a new dawn for Feverith, one which will see Zenoira's dominion restored at last. Curious, though, that we've no trace of the old knight's captain. About that, my lord, a lone cavalry unit was spotted riding through the eastern gate before it was barred. And the boy is lost to us. A truth obscured only by his mother's futile attempt at a counter-offensive. It would seem I underestimated her penchant for deception. Year 895 of the Hollowed Chronicle. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Sonoiran Empire, Cornia's once decorated General Valmor rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corinne. Its queen, Alenia, bold in the face of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son Elaine's safe flight and mustering what meager forces remained by her side. She rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight, Joseph, who took wing beyond Valmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the forded isle of Palavia in the holy kingdom of Albion. And boastfully proclaiming himself Fevrith's new emperor, Valmor donned a second name, Calarius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Yet each realm's endeavors fell in vain time and again, and ere long Zenoira's final dominion was realized. 
his blood-soaked unification come to bear. Few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Embers of resistance burned on, yet the downtrodden could cling only to furtive hopes of liberation. Desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing night. Ten years have passed since the Shroud of War first set over Cornea. Those two are at it again. Well, that takes care of the altar. I suppose I should be getting back. Sorry, Elaine, but this round's mine. Ah, uh, you always were the optimist. Damn it. You got a good hit in, I'll give you that. There's just no stopping you these days. Yet you've grown no less than I have. Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then, never manage to best Joseph. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now. Finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be going up against Anoira soon. Indeed it does. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex. Crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices, I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. That, and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Well, yeah, but... Zenoira's got the whole world in the palm of their hand. How are we gonna fight back against that? The Earth may be theirs, but the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. You got a point there. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just... make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank you, Lex. You know I can't do this without you. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> anyway, that's enough training for today. I'm gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Hmm? You see something out there? It's... a ship. Looks like they're flying Zenoira colors, too. This island is no longer safe. We have to tell the others. With you there. You head for the cathedral. I'll make sure the town knows what's coming. Seal off the harbor, and do it quick! Not a soul gets off this island under our watch. All soldiers have alighted, sir! Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. And remember, we're to apprehend the target alive. Understood, sir! O oh, Heavenly Father, ruler of land and sky above, we pray this day for deliverance from evil. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Guide our lost souls on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us, for darkness looms thick through all corners of Fevrith. Such is my request as your humble servant. In the name of the Guardian Unicorn, 
and that of the Holy Mother. Is that you, Elaine? How many times must I ask you not to stomp around in the cathedral? What is the meaning of this? Well, look what we've got here. Seems we're the first to show. Rough her up if you want, but don't forget. The girl dies, and our heads will roll too. Such depravity will not go unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father. Yeah? Then you best get to praying. <laughs> She's fast. Not as fast as us. What the? <laughs> Scarlet, are you hurt? Only a little shaken, that's all. What's happening to us, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palavian soil. One hoisting the banner of the Zenoiran army. And are they aware that you're the Crown Prince? I can't say for certain, but we know one thing. These people are our enemy, and they must be stopped. Yes. My cathedral will see no more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move outside. Your Highness, it's a relief to see you unharmed. Hold on, where's Lex? He went ahead to alert the town. We'd best find him and get to the harbor. Indeed. But first, my prince, this belongs to you. A ring. The Ring of the Unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. In truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply cross your face. But we no longer have such luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. A keepsake from my mother. Thank you for this, Joseph. Truly. Make no further mention of it. Now, let us be off. Face me.
Your villainy ends here. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. To me. For the liberation. Got it. So, uh, what next? Sure thing. On it. I'm ready to hit something. Service of the royal family, awaiting your command. Very well. This is come. Gaze. Up. Come. True. I have you. I've not chosen my grave yet. Ready. I'm up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Onward. I'll not fail you, as you wish. You face me. I shall hold nothing back. Glory to the 
liberation! For the liberation. We march. The path is set. Awaiting your... I'll not fail you. By your word. Sure thing. On it. Come. I have you! The battle is won! I've not chosen my grave yet. I fear for our safety. I shall hold... Tis a deficient plan. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Stand true! I fight in me yet. A trivial undertaking. What would you ask? <clears throat> I'll not fail you. Very well. We march. To me. Ready. Yes, sir. I shall hold nothing back. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Accept the mercy of a swift demise. I fail to understand, Holdrick. What has motivated this shift in allegiance? Joseph, Cornea's most decorated knight. I shall close the book on your tale myself. Not today! Hold fast! Glory to the liberation! Come, you face me. doing this you who once stood as my mother's royal guard enough of your questions well interfere and I shall see you suffer for it good awaiting your command by your word sure thing on it I am yours to command your highness Come then. A fine job. I must never hear it. May the Father smile upon me. Well fought. Foolishness is this. One such as I, brought low by the corneate vermin that gnawed our ankles. You've fallen far indeed, Hodric. How many times did you stare death in the face at Her Majesty's side? Now, look what you've become. I may stand as your swordmaster no longer. But I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. Wait. Your Highness. Tell me, Hodric. Do you remember the times you and I played together? When I was still just a boy? Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. A simple reason is all I ask. Please. Elaine! The ring! What sorcery is this? Oh, my head! What am I doing here? A spell to 
shackle the hearts of men. Tis the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill-fated day, all the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. A frightful power, if what you say is true. This spell of control, it could be called. Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Fevrith to its knees. I shudder to think what unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years. Though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be mere regalia, a symbol of your birthright and nothing more. To think the power of cleansing truly exists. Your Highness, that is the Ring of the Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn. How it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. It's entirely possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. Hmm. Should Galerius' rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people? Then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring true, my prince. Indeed. Were we able to free those bound by his cruel magics? It might just bring the Iron Wall of Zenoira crashing down. All told, I've often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march, or paltry vendetta? Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists that will soon be dispelled. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled and slay Galerius like the beast he is. I'm here. And how does Hodric fare? Well, all things considered. Any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. By the way, Your Highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clive. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we've reached solid ground. You have my thanks. A word, Elaine? Is something wrong? Well... No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. It really isn't important. I assure you, it's just, our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. But I've always known this day would come. It's why I've spent all these years training under Joseph's careful instruction. A shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward, royal blade in arm. But as her heir, I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Lex spent all your days banging swords down at the shore? You've seen that, have you? You know, Hodric was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, 
we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. To reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Elaine, I... Of course. I'll do everything I can. As is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me! <sighs> Lex... <laughs> what? I'm sorry, my prince. Decorum doesn't come naturally to this fool. It's all right. When you've known each other as long as we have, there's no reason to let formality bind us. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the crown. Still, I'm of the same mind. What mind he has, that is. I'll give my all in the royal name, your majesty. Thank you all. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. Surrounded. Not the welcome party I was hoping for. Get your vile claws off of me! Let her go! Holy! I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception. But we've business with the girl. What business could you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. <laughs> Scarlet! I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. Who was that knight who took her? His name is Renault, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia. Not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the orthodoxy, making one with direct ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear, should she fall into Galerius' hands. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. 
You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather, I'm your man. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault, we've got to go through them. Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we are able. Service of the royal family. The day will be ours. I'll not fail you. As you wish. The time is at hand. Onward. Gaze upon the face of your demise. <laughs> I have you! Yes. I've not chosen my grave yet. We march. The path is set. I shall hold nothing back. Your villainy ends here. Nice try. Onward. What would you ask? Very well. Come. You 
face me. Thank you. We march on. The fine bout. Time is at hand. The path is set. I'll not fail you. As you wish. Come then. the banners. You face me. We march on. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. The path is set. It is ours now. Time is at hand. They will know what hit them. Awaiting your command. By your word. I'm up. Yes, sir. <laughs> to me. So, uh, what next? You don't stand a chance. <laughs> no stopping now. I'll not fail you. Very well. We march. The path is set. Gaze upon the face of your demise. I have you! The battle is won! I've not chosen my grave yet. Awaiting your command, as you wish. I shall hold nothing back. Stand true! 
What would you ask, by your word? I'm ready to hit something. That's how it's done. I have taken it as our own. in my grave yet, awaiting your command. <clears throat> Onward. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> Score one for Lex. I'm ready to hit something. Don't go dying on me. No stop it now. Sure thing. On it. The time is at hand. The path is set. I'll not fail you. As you wish. This one's mine. <laughs> No stopping now. I'm ready to hit something. Score one for legs. I can do Told stuff. you I'm awesome. I'm up. You got it. We march. Onward. Now then. Awaiting your command. By your word. Sure thing. <clears throat> I'll not fail you. Very well. The time is at hand. I'm here. Come then. I sh this one's mine. And now, done and dusted. We march. What would you ask? As you wish. Came knocking. Stand true. Is at hand. Sure thing. <clears throat> the time.
time is at hand. Excellent. Ben. The wind, it seems. We march. To me. I shall hold nothing back. I fight in me yet. I will not let this go to waste. For the liberation. Alone, are you? What happened to your friends? Long gone by now. But with all the time about him? Never could have done without you lot chase me halfway to hell and back, though. The fort's empty, your majesty. Not a soul in sight. Guy laid out the bait, and we just had to take a nibble. Strange. Few leaders would play the sacrificial lamb in such a predicament. <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. I would have shook you off like weak old mud if I hadn't hurt my leg in our little scuffle. But hey, that's just part of the job. You're gambling with your life the second you take that coin. Then you know how this ends. Stay your blade, Lex. There's something I need to ask him. What does Galerius want with Scarlet? I'll take any scraps of information you may have, please. You do realize I'm just hired steel, yeah? They keep my pockets nice and heavy, and that's as far as my curiosity goes. So, sorry, but I'm not a questions kind of guy. At least not past my bottom line. Well, what do we do with him? Let's say I offered to fill those pockets instead. What then? <laughs> First, I'd ask if you still had all your marbles, but... I'm not the discriminating type, as long as the pace right. If this is supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. We're trying to beat the enemy, not hire them. It's not every day you come across a man willing to greet the heavens in order to see his allies safe. Now, our aim is to liberate these lands from the oppressive clutches of Zenoira and its emperor. I'd ask your aid in that battle. You know... I had heard you were nothing more than the crumbs of some spineless resistance that got chewed up and spat back out. Never would have guessed you're really just a pack of reckless lunatics. This so-called lunatic is none other than Prince Elaine, true-born heir to the Cornian throne. And our war is a righteous one. You're trotting around the crown brat of a dead and gone kingdom trying to flip a whole damn empire? Sorry, kids, but I don't like them odds. It doesn't sound like he's interested. <laughs> Hope you know I don't come cheap. Does that mean you'll join us? Granted, you're willing to foot the bill. King Megan's not an everyday job for a merc. But you've seen enough to know I'm worth the gold more. So we got a deal? We'll even cut you a little discount. Now that we've settled matters here, we move to rescue Scarlet. Time grows short. Indeed. It's more than evident Galerius had some grand purpose in kidnapping her. Delivering her from his bloodied talons may strike a heavy blow to the heart of his aims. Perhaps, but this is far sooner than we had planned. Our allies remain scattered through every realm of Fevrith. Casting the gauntlet at Renault's feet would only send us all to an early grave. If I may add, there are those among Galerius's adherents who willfully chose to betray the Queen those long years ago. I fear we have no hope of avoiding conflict with such base traitors. It would seem we'll need to bolster our ranks, then. Your Highness, upon ushering you to Palavia, I labored tirelessly to build a foundation upon which the Liberation Army can take hold. I have seen great suffering in our lands, tis true, and yet greater resentment harbored by the oppressed and the downtrodden. 
I have every faith such fierce emotion will spur them to join our cause. My prince, fly your crest cross the banner of the liberation. Spearhead the rebellion against Zenoira, and you will surely find kindred spirits ready to take arms in your name. Then I will do just that. I only ask that you be the crutch I may lean on when the perils of war grow too great to bear alone. steal you're after, you're in the right place. Be seeing ya. Here to shop? Or maybe to sell? Just say the word and it's yours. Come back soon. Steal you're after, you're in the right place.
scum. You supposed to be the town guard? <laughs> Sorriest sight I ever seen. Now go on and run home if you know what's good for you. As if I'd ever seen to vulgar bandits such as you. The father shall strike you down for your sins. Not today, you won't. But I'll let you take that up with him yourself. Me? I've had enough divine judgment to last a lifetime. You know the drill, boys. Grab anything that's not nailed to the floorboards. And you were aided by a man named Rolf, you say? Yes, my lord. He claimed to be with the Cornea Militia, 